All right, guys, what's going on? So today, you can see I got the bags off. We're gonna be replacing the suspension. Paco over at Peterson Harley in Miami, the North Store, gave me a heck of a deal on some Olin's. Woo! Look at that remote reservoir. Look at that beauty. God, those look good. I'm gonna be using my Harbor Freight tools here, Icon, because uh, they work. Ain't nothing wrong with them. How oh, you guys like my lift? <laughs> love it crank it up there right where i want it can't beat that uh, let's get some olins on i don't have my tripod with me so uh we're gonna have to do this in stages but here we go guys so i took some zip ties and wrapped it around each one of these coils just in case there's any kind of tension on these coils when i take this bolt out and it actually worked it only moved what quarter inch half an inch somewhere in there so i didn't want it freaking popping and going just gouge the crap out of something you know but yeah that actually worked so now we gotta remove these screws here because this is where our bracket goes it holds our reservoir I bought these on uh, Amazon, and you can see the surface rust already. So I'll probably be replacing those and the shitty screws they send with it. Okay, now we got the screws out of here. They give you two spacers to screw into your little mount here for your reservoir. The short ones and the long one. Short ones for when you have bags, saddlebags, tour pack, stuff like that. I run a tour pack every once in a while, so I'm gonna be using the short one here. So it came with new screws, that's a plus. Uh, T40s. All right guys, we got our reservoir mount installed. I think these tightened down to eight foot pounds. It's just two screws, left this one loose because we need it loose to drop our reservoir in. I came over here, went ahead and put zip ties on it, even though the spring's like flimsy as crap. I don't know what the heck. I mean, that, that, that spring's like useless. <laughs> we'll get this shock off. More than likely our rear's probably gonna drop. So I need to be prepared for that. I went ahead and lowered the bike to where it's almost touching the ground. I didn't want to get any huge surprises in case this rear drops any, and then the whole bike shakes back and forth, and, and I'll lose it on the stand, so we'll just do that for insurance. So yes, it did drop, and not very far. So yeah, I was kind of glad I did lower this to the ground, because it it didn't hit real hard, it just kind of sat down there. I got it raised back up now, and uh, we'll start installing the rest of it. We got the shock on, simple enough. Just had to raise the rear wheel about a quarter inch to get this screw in. Now it's just a matter of tightening these down and getting the zip tie to hold this in place and then do the other side. All right guys, got them both on now. Uh, comes with one zip tie, went ahead and added a couple of more. Now I've got to set preload, dampering, and compression dampering. So look at that guys, don't that look good? This thing's gonna look kick ass. We'll see what other people say is a good setting. Sometimes I run a tour pack. I do have the saddlebags. Well guys, back together. Uh, preload thing was pretty cut and dry. Each one of those threads on that big 
nuts pretty much a millimeter so pretty cut and dry but it's on now guys what do you think looks pretty slick don't it I like the black just blends right in yet they're still there so it looks I think it looks amazing and it still leaves room for your tur pack if you got a tur pack it doesn't or any luggage racks they're designed to stay out of the way on Harley so Holland did a pretty good job on that but uh, yeah I'm fixing to take it for a test ride and see see how they ride apparently it's supposed to be night and day we're gonna find out so all right guys well took it out it was a little rough made some adjustments that no, wasn't rough rough it was the rebound it was a little rough so I made some adjustments and now mm, rides like a dream love it guys well hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on the next one